Good morning, motor cars. It is Friday, the morning of the 16th, and we are well into ice cream season. I hope everybody's getting their fill of ice cream and cool water and running through sprinklers and all the other things that you're never too old to do. I've got a couple things I'd like to chat about this week in regard to communication. I was actually doing some research um, for an article that I'm writing for my business blog having to do with communication facts and how customers deal with companies. And several things have changed over the course of the past year I thought you might find interesting. One of them is this, that seven out of 10 callers are placed on hold at least once during a call to any business, regardless of what it is. The average business loses 10% of its customer base each year because they felt that they were treated poorly or with indifference during a phone call. The average hold time across all industries is 38 seconds. That's actually gone up a bit. Last year it was about 30 seconds. During the course of a lifetime, the average customer waits on hold for a grand total of 15 months. and That's increasing as time goes on. The average customer hangs up after less than two minutes on hold and 34% never call back. 88% of customers prefer to hear about products and services while on hold, even more than they prefer to hear about music. And 20% say that they've purchased additional products or services based on those messages. So basically, that's the most effective ad that's out there right now. Customers who heard product or service information while on hold are also likely to remain on hold longer without becoming impatient. The likelihood of qualifying a lead if called within five minutes is 21 times higher than waiting 30 minutes. Customers unready to purchase at the time that they come in to visit a business are twice as likely to purchase later if they're called back on a regular basis. This is called lead nurturing. Callers with a personal connection to the recipient. In other words, if you're a salesperson and that call person that you're calling feels that you've developed a personal connection, they're five times more likely to return your call. The average adult spends a grand total of 23 hours a week texting, and the average millennial exchanges an average of 67 text messages each and every day. 97% of Americans text at least once each day. Worldwide, people send 23 billion with a B text messages every single day. And text messages have a 98% open rate, while email has only a 20% open rate. Text messaging also has a 45% response rate, while email only has a 6% response rate. Just a little bit to help us stay on track as far as where customers are at, because they change every single day. Have a good weekend, motor cars.